Welcome to your employee benefits overview video provided by 208 Benefits. The information provided in this video is to help you understand your benefit options and how to complete your benefit elections prior to your benefit eligible date. Please watch and share this video with anyone that helps make your employee benefit decisions for you and your family. You can refer back to this video at any time. First, let's walk through this presentation deck and then switch over and walk through the features of your benefit information website. The benefits that we review are effective December 1st, 2022. T-Square offers a comprehensive benefits package that includes the following benefits. Medical insurance, disability, accident, critical illness insurance, term life, dental, vision, and telehealth. T-Square contributes to the following benefits for employees that provide more coverage and lowering employee costs medical insurance, disability insurance, accident, and dental insurance. The medical insurance plan will continue with Kaiser Permanente of Washington, and we will continue with the same plan that is in place for 2022 that renews December 1st, 2022 through the rest of the 12 month plan year. The virtual plus plan through Kaiser Permanente of Washington basically is a virtual first platform, meaning that members need to start their care needs with a virtual visit. And that could be any number of visits that are available, uh, options available. So that can include for you a video visit, chat care, consulting a nurse uh, via mobile phone or platform, phone visit, email, or an e-visit on a number of the different platform options. Uh, for any of these visits, for your initial care, for that initial need, medical event, there is no charge. And you simply can from there receive care and prescriptions. Uh, they can refer you to an in-person uh, physician for care uh, as well, and then obviously fill any prescription needs as necessary. For follow-up care, if needed, um, you can access the virtual care network as well, basically the same processes here, if that is appropriate, there's no cost for that. If an in-person visit is uh, necessary for your follow-up care, uh, you are referred to an in-network physician and there is a lower cost for that doctor's visit. If you are not referred and just choose to go to an in-person uh, physician visit, um, you are subject to higher out-of-pocket costs, which is applicable to the plan, deductible, and co-insurance. So again, the purpose of this plan is to uh, route your health care needs through the virtual platforms and options available to you uh, to then get referred to in-person care as needed or if needed. So when you go through that platform, you can utilize again, the mobile app. And I hope and assume most of you have downloaded and used the mobile app to initiate your care. But as you see here in the screenshots, it shows you your list of appointments, how to consult a nurse option, prescription drugs, urgent care, care chat, find a doctor, your clinic locations, all of that is right there and handy for you and then you can go forward with setting up those uh, care appointments. So nothing in the plan is changing for the uh, 2022 forward uh, benefit period. Um, it'll be the same plan and also the same cost to you uh, beginning December 1st. The next benefit, also very important benefit, is your short-term disability insurance. Short-term disability is where T-Square helps protect your income if you're unable to work due to an off-the-job injury, an illness, or even a maternity event. The benefit details are as follows. The income benefit portion of the disability plan replaces 60% of your annual gross monthly earnings. And again, your gross monthly earnings are what is paid to you before taxes or any other deductions are taken from your uh, per paycheck earnings. 
and that benefit, that 60% is paid to you as a weekly benefit. The benefits are payable on the eighth calendar day after the disability begins. So therefore consider your disability plan of having a seven calendar day deductible. The first seven calendar days, you are covering yourself with any paid time off, uh, sick leave, cash in, in savings accounts, etc. cetera, um, for that. And then on the eighth day moving forward, your disability policy would be able to kick in and start paying you your weekly benefit. Now your income benefit amount will be displayed to you in the benefit enrollment platform, uh, showing you exactly what that income amount is and therefore you would know exactly what to expect from the policy and also to help you budget for uh, those uh, rainy day type funds to make sure that you have the other part of your money that you need to take care of your everyday living expenses if the event that you do have a disability. The maximum benefit duration uh, per disability event is 25 weeks so that is just under six months of benefit. So hopefully that will provide you time to recover from that injury, illness, and therefore get back to work and start uh, earning 100% of your pay. In the event it doesn't, you do have that full 25 weeks. There's a small caveat with the maternity benefit. Uh, the maximum duration is a six week benefit minus the seven days for a normal delivery and an eight week benefit minus the seven days for a C-section delivery. The other caveat to maternity disability is that the benefit is not paid in a weekly format, it is paid in a lump sum. So in this case, if you were to have a delivery with a C-section, the insurer would just pay your weekly disability benefit times the seven weeks in this case, to you directly in a lump sum. The next benefit that is also a benefit that pays the employee directly is the accidental injury insurance benefit. Again, pays a fixed cash amount for diagnosis of a specific injury experienced by you or anybody covered on your policy, spouse and or kids. The benefits payable to you through this policy are not impacting your medical insurance coverage or any other uh, coverage for that injury. So we're gonna give you some examples of benefit amounts payable in this policy. If an employee or family member has an upper arm fracture, or a lower leg fracture as an example or injury. We're using fractures in this example it's purely to illustrate, but the policy does cover other types of injury events. If you had a upper arm fracture that required surgical repair, you would receive a $3,000 benefit. If it's a lower leg fracture as an example that required surgical repair, you would receive a $5,000 benefit. If it's non-surgical repair for either of those two, uh, your benefit is basically 50% uh, for non-surgical repair, so you see $1,500 and $2,500 respectively. So again, these are benefits paid directly to you. You use that benefit how you see fit to offset your deductible, your co-insurance, um, everyday living expenses. It's your money to put in the bank and take care of yourself as you need to. Long-term disability is the next benefit as part of your policy package. So we already talked about short-term disability that has a coverage up to 25 weeks of benefits. Um, and that is something that it, you receive as an employer provided benefit. So there is no cost to you as the employee. However, uh, disabilities can uh, go longer than a six month period of time where you're unable to work. And in that case, you would like to have the opportunity for you to protect yourself and your income, obviously, if the, your disability event does go beyond that six months. So in this case, you would have the opportunity to buy your long-term disability coverage. Um, again, it's going to pay the same 
percentage of your annual gross monthly earnings. In this case though, it'd be paying you monthly versus the short term paying you weekly. The benefits are payable on the after 180 calendar days have passed. So that's basically designed to maximize your short term disability policy benefits and then kick in right when those are done. So again, some continuity of income replacement for you. The benefit duration is a minimum of two years if you're basically in your own occupation. Um, after two years, uh, the insurer can continue to pay benefits up to age 65, but there are some requirements for them to be able to do so um, that have something to do with you being able to uh, be trained in another occupation or you know, uh, be able to get into another occupation where you can start to earn equivalent wages again. Dental insurance, the next benefit that we'll review. This will also continue with principal. Benefit summary for your dental insurance is very simple. The annual maximum benefit per calendar year is $1,000 per member enrolled. Preventive services are covered at no cost. So if you are visiting an in-network uh, dentist, then you will receive routine exams, cleanings, x-rays, and a few other services that are included in preventive services at no cost to you. For care that goes beyond preventive services, there is an annual deductible. Again, this is a calendar year deductible that you pay per member at 50 bucks up to a maximum of $150 per family. If you have a family of five and everybody's accessing more than preventive care, then you're still only going to pay the maximum of $150, not $50 times five, which would be 250. So again, it does reduce the annual out of pocket for that. Once that is paid, then for basic services like fillings and sealants, root canals, extractions, minor oral surgery, the plan covers 80%, you pay 20%. Okay, now just do recognize that basic services, major services, and preventive services are all accumulating down from that $1,000 annual maximum benefit. So it is possible that you would be able to exhaust the amount of benefit that you receive by the plan, but the good news is even if you exhaust that, you still get in-network discounts, etc., that will lower the cost of your continued care for that calendar year if needed. Major services, as illustrated here, uh, again, after you pay the deductible, you pay 50% for crowns, bridges, and dentures. Optional term life coverage. So you can purchase additional term life insurance through your employment. And that allows you to buy up to $100,000 of term life insurance for you as the employee, up to $20,000 of term life insurance for the spouse, and $10,000 of life insurance for each child. Um, it is one cost, regardless of the amount of having one children, one child, excuse me, or 10 children. It's the same cost, $10,000 per child, so it's very favorable type of benefit there. So you simply, as you go through your benefit enrollment platform, you select the uh, benefit, you select the benefit amount, and for who you'd like to have that for. When you guys enter that benefit platform, it'll show you what you have already elected as a reminder so that you can see that yourselves. Critical illness insurance. Again, this is like the accident policy, like your disability policy, in which it does pay a benefit directly to you. If you or someone in your family were diagnosed with a specific serious illness, also does not impact your other insurances, including medical insurance. They still do what they're supposed to do. This policy is going to do what it's supposed to do in full. So covered illnesses in the critical illness insurance plan include heart attack, invasive cancer, stroke. Those are the big three items that are in there, but there are a whole list of other types of illnesses that you can be diagnosed with and this benefit would still be payable to you. 
So the benefits can be begin at $5,000. You can elect the smallest amount, which basically means if you're diagnosed with one of these illnesses, you can submit the claim directly to your principal and they will submit you the benefit back as $5,000. But you can also upgrade that to a $10,000 benefit or even a $15,000 benefit. So it does give you the option to make sure that if one of those illnesses were to occur, you have more financial resources at your disposal that won't tap into your savings, that won't need to tap into your 401k, et cetera, and that you have the money you need to help you financially get through that event. You can add your spouse to this policy. They receive 50% of the benefit amount that you elect. And children, you can add to the policy. They receive 25% of the benefit amount you elect. But also note that children are covered on this policy at no additional cost. So my recommendation is if you have dependent age children, basically those who are 25 years old and younger, you can add them to your policy, give that, that benefit there for the just in case, and therefore everyone's covered, gives you better peace of mind. The only additional cost you would look at is adding your spouse or increasing your benefit amount. Your vision plan will also remain with principal utilizing the VSP vision network of providers. Your basic summary is that your exams are a $10 copay. Your lenses and frames, you can access new lenses for a $25 copay. Um, those are for typically your standard lenses. If you are purchasing progressive lenses, uh, the ones that kind of remove the bifocal, trifocal lines in lenses, um, there is a higher copay for that, but it's still significantly less than just paying for those on a retail basis. Your eyeglasses frame allowance is $150. That is also your allowance for contact lenses. However, vision policies do not cover contact lenses in the same benefit period as they do your regular eyeglass lenses. So just note that so that you can plan accordingly and then also determine which your which is the better benefit. Do you take it for the eyeglasses lenses or do you take it for the contact lenses? In most cases, the eyeglass lenses with frames is where you would see more value uh, for cost savings because there are a lot of potential cost savings out there for buying contacts. You also do have additional lens options, discounts, UV treatment, tinting, scratch coating, all those things. And there is also a Lasix uh, benefit, which is provides up to 15% discount off of standard LASIK rates from a provider. Last but not least, um, this is a prescription savings plan that you have access to for everybody in your family. This is separate from your medical insurance plan. Um, it's not attached to any plan, it's straight through the pharmacy discount. So we have a partner called CleverRx that allows us to give you exclusive uh, savings for your prescriptions, up to 80% off some prescription drugs. You simply download the mobile app, punch in the group and member ID numbers that we provide on your benefit information website, and then go through the process of simply typing or speaking the name of the prescription into the app, seeing the list of pharmacies nearest you for the different savings that you can attain, you select your pharmacy of choice, whether it's convenient, it's the savings, or if it's your preferred pharmacy, then simply present the voucher to the pharmacy clerk. There's a specific uh, set of numbers that they punch into their system to access the lower savings, and then you pay that lower amount. 40% of generic prescriptions are less than $10, uh, which is less than your generic prescription copay on your medical plan. So we want to make sure that you know that you have this available to you. You can continue to access this indefinitely and use it for yourself and anybody in your family, regardless of what health insurance plan they are covered on. So here is your benefit information website. So this is specifically for T-squared real estate employees benefits. 
And this is where you see your benefit information. You have access to videos and other resources that help you understand your benefit in further detail, connect to the resources within each benefit, and allow you to uh, keep aware of who you contact, how you contact them, and all the things that you have available to you to protect yourself financially from medical events and to use at your disposal. So as you see here, this is you know your view benefits tab, which shows you all the benefits that you have available to you. Yeah, this is including your health insurance, your disability, your critical illness, dental vision. Uh, COBRA is for those who are uh, terminating employment and want to maintain uh, specific coverages like health insurance, dental and vision uh, for up to a period of time. But all that information is here for you. So as you click on a benefit tile, you will see uh, specific information. You have the insurer, your group number, their phone number, member login directly to the insurer's member portal right from here. So you don't have to remember all of these different places. A video right here that explains what health insurance is, how it works with you know co-pays, deductibles, co-insurance, out-of-pocket max, etc. There is a find a provider search right here. There's guides to your plan options and additional information. Now you can navigate over to the next benefit by using the navigation buttons back and forth, or you can simply also just return to the dashboard scroll down and choose the next benefit that you want some additional information on or you want to review. So as example, with the accident policy, you know, here's a video, the benefit summaries right here. You can click on that. It pulls up a PDF for you so that you can click on the PDF and see, okay, here's all the different benefits that this policy pays out for specific injuries, you know, that are occurred to you or anybody in your family that's covered by the policy. So again, you don't have to guess what the policies are going to do and not do. The information's right here at your fingertips. So back to that, if you do need to uh, start a claim, if there is or has been an injury, uh, simply click the start a claim button here. It's going to take you directly to the principal website and you just drop down here. Here's the claim form. Here's the claim email address and etc. So if you just punch on the PDF here, it'll explain to you what you need to submit the claim. It's basically just uh, some physician documents and the claim form filled out. Very simple. So again, in each of these benefit tiles, there will be information. As example, your dental, if you want to do a provider search. Hey, I need to find a new dentist. Mine is retiring. So I want to find an in-network dentist. You simply Come in here and you plug in your zip code. I'm just guessing here on a zip code. Let's see if that works in that Seattle area. Uh, let's go 20 miles out and then we will get a list of all the different providers. Well, there's a whopping almost 4,800 in network providers and then a 20 mile radius of that zip code in Seattle. So that is how we uh, hope that you can utilize your benefit information website. Uh, so that you can uh, take advantage of your benefits in full. Your benefit pricing will be listed here, uh, telling you what all the benefits are and what it costs to add any member of your family to any specific benefits. Now, when you are ready to make your benefit elections, go to the Enroll Benefits tab. There is a video here that gives you kind of a refresher uh, for those of you that have already done this or for if you're new, shows you how to navigate the platform you simply uh, watch this video, we'll pull it up here on full screen, and it'll take you step by step on how to log in, how to review your own personal information, dependents, go through any notices that are required, you know, click the coverage that you're looking to enroll. As you'll see here, it creates a shopping cart for you based on your benefit election. And then you can start to see how the plan works for you all the way through the end where you're going to sign your forms. It's going to apply it to the forms by just clicking the little green box. And then at the end, you're going to be, you're done when you see this congratulations screen. 
Uh, we appreciate any kind of feedback, you know, as far as the enrollment experience. Uh, you can also answer any questions that are right here for you as well. And then click finish up at the top and then you are done. You'll see your benefit summary, etc. So again, giving you an understanding of where to go. Once you've watched that video, you can then just click the go to benefits enrollment center button and you would log in. If this is your first time logging in, you can click the forgot button here to enter in your email address and then it'll send you a password setup link to your email address. If you've forgotten your password, you use the same process for that. So if for some reason uh, you might be doing this on your mobile phone or maybe the email address isn't working, maybe you've got a different email address on file, you can also use the mobile phone login to do that. If for some reason you're still having some help, you can, you can request help here uh, through this link. So that is your benefit website to help you navigate your benefits. You can also look at FAQs, definitions, and if you wanna purchase additional life insurance for you or any family member, you can do so independently of T-Square and just set that up for yourself and we can assist you with that. Thank you again, and hopefully this information has been very helpful for you all to navigate your benefits open enrollment and make the decisions that's the best fit for you.